and welcome to my channel beauty boomer my name is rose and if you're here for the first time thank you for checking in thank you so much if you're a new subscriber or a returning subscriber i thank you again for coming along this journey with me today i'm very excited we're going to look at a company called bk beauty uh, bk stands for beauty and kindness it's a company that was started by a youtuber her name and channel name is lisa j which i will link down below in the description box so i found lisa j about 10 months ago when she uh, posted a video called uh, mac training secrets revealed and I clicked onto it because I'm a long time Mac makeup lover and I wanted to get some tips from somebody who was trained by Mac. And what I found was just the loveliest woman. She just comes across um, on camera, so kind, so knowledgeable, <coughs> um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, just wanting to, uh, you can tell her intention is wanting to teach, wanting to, uh, give you the information that you need to either create a look or purchase a product, etc. So I fell in love with her immediately and I started watching her channel. Now the first product that her company came out with was this t-shirt, which if you've been following me for a while, you've seen me wear this before. It's so cute. It's BK Beauty and Kindness. And this was their first launch and uh, the, what I love about this t-shirt and her company and all of the products that they will be putting out, a percentage of them go to the Kindness Campaign, uh, which is her partner. She partnered with this Kindness Campaign. And what they do is they go into schools and they teach young children about kindness, compassion, empathy, all of the things that we need to live a balanced uh, life. And, you know, we don't want to lose touch of those things. And so uh, when she mentioned to on that very uh, first video with this t-shirt that that's who she was partnering with, I just got right on board. I thought, you know, this is a woman who I really enjoy watching, but who stands for something that I believe in as well. So I couldn't be happier for her. But first of all, I bought the eye brush set. So she sells a face set, an eye set, a complete set, and individual brushes. So the individual brushes range in price from $15 to about $36. So right in line with Sephora brushes, IT Cosmetics brushes, uh, MAC brushes. Um, so they're very, very uh, nice quality. Uh, they are beautiful. They're like a they're like a burgundy lacquer and they have a light gold pale gold um ferrule and the brushes are synthetic they are all uh 100 cruelty free vegan and there are a set of five brushes so i'm going to go ahead and do an eye look with you and we are going to see how these brushes perform start with the 201 brush and I'm going to use the Violet Voss Essentials Palette. Look how cute this palette is. I got it in a BoxyCharm about a month ago, and it is so darling. I love the colors. I think they're great for fall. Uh, you can get a great daytime look. You can get even a nice evening look because it's got some depth and some sparkle in the palette. So for today's purposes, I'm going to do kind of an in-between look. You know, kind of daytime could go into evening. And I am going to start with this... Uh, shade called sand and i'm going to use the 201 and i'm going to start building up my transition color so this is a color that does not probably doesn't show up super great on the camera it's very close to my skin tone but gives me a little bit of color and i like to start with colors like these when i'm doing a look with a lot of browns because it just is so neutral, but it just gives you something to, to build on, something to blend with when you lay down a lighter color like this. You know, call it a transition shade. So as you can see, the brush moves really nicely. And it's so soft. It has a nice weight in the hand as well. So th these are very well balanced brushes. So now I'm gonna go and deepen the uh, transition and go into my crease with the 202. 
and I'm gonna go down into this color called terracotta Then another thing about these brushes that is so nice is the way they pick up product. I mean, I just dipped it in and it just picked it up beautifully. So you can see the color is blending out beautifully. I'm going to dip in one more time. This palette is buildable, which is nice too. And then I just kind of flick it up on the ends there. So now we have built up our transition. I'm going to keep using this same brush. And I have a microfiber cloth here. I'll show you. I have several here. I have one down here, but I have another one. And what I do is I wipe my brushes with this. It's sort of like a color switch, but I find it a little bit more gentle. I buy these at Target and I believe they come in a package of about five and they're, they're not expensive at all. And when they get dirty, you throw them in the washing machine. So now I'm gonna go into this color called Cinnamon and I'm gonna uh, start working on the outer V with the same brush, but I'm just going on the very tip like that. And going right in, there we go, right into this inner outer corner. So I place most of the product here, tap it in, and then I start blending it towards the inside. So it just gets a nice gradient of color. I'm going to go in and take an, another little bit. And just tap it on that outer eye. Okay, so now we've got this beautiful lid space here. So now I'm going to take the next brush in the series. And it's a beautiful packing brush. And this is uh, the 203. And I'm going to go in with uh, this color called Dusty Rose right here. And I'm just going to blend that in. What I'm going to, I'm using the Dusty Rose as a base for a shimmer. But look how pretty that is, even just alone. It's a pretty matte, uh, dusty pink. Very nice. Again, I'm wiping this brush off and I'm going to take the, this pink. It's called pink. <laughs> Imagine that. And I'm going to pick it up on the same brush. And I'm going to wet this brush with the MAC Fix Plus. And I'm just going to go over where I put that dusty, what was it, a dusty rose color. Beautiful. And now I'm going to wipe that off again. And I'm going to go back into the cinnamon color and just tap that on, build up that darker outer corner just a little bit more. And then I'm gonna take the other brush that I used, the 202, and I'm just gonna blend that. I'm not adding any more product to this brush, I'm just blending it. This is the 205, excuse me. And uh, this is a great brush to highlight with. It's got a slant, so you can get right up under the brow. Beautiful. I like to pat it on with my finger, just to kind of mute it a little bit. So I don't like a ton of sparkle up there. And then I'm gonna take the original brush that I used, the 201, and just make sure that that is all blended together. 
Now we're going to get to one of my favorite brushes, and it is the 204. It's this little smudge brush, and it is just terrific for the under, uh, uh, <laughs> I can't talk today. It's just great for the lower lash line, the 204 brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the terracotta, just a little bit, and run that down under my lash. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the cinnamon and connect it. Always make sure you connect it to that upper lash line. And then again with this blending brush, I'm going to go in and just blend out that outer corner. There's no extra product on this. Beautiful. And again, I'm wiping the color off that tiny little smudge brush. And I'm going to go in. I just want to build that up a little bit more here on the outer. And I'm wiping it off. So now I'm going from a very dark shade to a very light shade with this brush. But I'm going to go in to that same color that I used for the brow. And I'm going to place it in the inner corner. So I wanted you to see how nicely these brushes can go from using a very, the darkest shade, almost darkest shade in the palette to the lightest shade in the palette just by wiping it on this cloth here. These cloths, I need to get sponsored by these cloths, right? But uh, yeah, it's just a great tool. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go finish my other eye, finish my face, and I will come back with the finished look. And I'm back with the finished look for my bronzer and blush. I used the Cover FX Face Palette. It's a very great palette. If you don't have this, this is terrific. And I used Gerard Cosmetics Liquid Hydra Matte Lipstick in the color Share. I used uh, Milk Kush. Uh, mascara. She, these brushes are made in small batches. So she did the original release in August. They sold out. Now the next pre-order is available with a November ship date. So these would make an excellent gift not only to yourself but to another makeup lover if you have somebody like that in your life. I highly recommend uh, these brushes and I just love supporting uh, women who are doing something, you know, other creators here on YouTube, I really like to buy their products and yes. them because I know how hard they've worked to get to where they are at because I've had, had my channel for about 18 months now and, I, you know, I just got to the uh, 600 subscriber mark. So how hard you have to work, how much energy you have to put in to get to the point where you're in the over 100,000 uh, subscribers or even up into the millions of subscribers, how much work and energy that goes into that. I'm just a small little channel here. I put out videos about once a week and I just love interacting with y'all. So drop a comment down below. I love hearing from you. Follow me on Twitter at Beauty Boomer and I will see you in my next video. Bye.